his mind. Beautiful. Mama, he's crazy. Crazy over me. Nice. Hello and welcome the Judds today. I've had this video or this song on my list for a while. Just now getting to it today, it just seems appropriate today. I'm not quite sure why, but this song is Mama, He's Crazy. This video we're watching is from 1984. They're singing it live on one of uh, some award show, I think. Of course, the Judds were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in May, just a couple of months ago, maybe last month. And Naomi passed away just a day or two before being officially inducted. A very sad story about that as well. But nonetheless, one thing we can always do is go back and watch their music and remember their music, the legacy that they left behind. I'll, put, I'll just say this because it reminds me. When I see these artists, I go back to what memories do I have the, of them. My wife was a big fan of the Judds. I got to see these ladies perform at the Rhyme. Pretty cool. All right, let's get right into it. But before we do, if you don't mind, will you like and subscribe, especially consider hitting that subscribe button. That's the one thing you could do to help this channel the most right now. I'd certainly appreciate it. Here we go. Such a great storytelling song. Let's dive in. Mama, I found someone. Like you said, we're coming on. He's sad and so unlike any man I've known. Now, we're not going to talk about this being 38 years ago. I was afraid mm. to bed him in. Because I'm not the trusting kind. But now I'm convinced that he's heaven sent. Beautiful. Mama, he's crazy. Crazy over me. Nice. In my life is where he says he always wants to be. I've never been so loved. He beats all I've ever seen. You know what this you know what make this song what do you know what makes this song great besides the fact that it's two outstanding performers their lovely voices and the talent they have listen to the words it seems exactly like now of course i've never had this conversation but it seems exactly like the conversation a mother and daughter would have late at night over the kitchen table maybe over a, a, a late snack or something like that it just seems so real so authentic the words, the storyline, and the way they deliver it seems so real and so authentic. I think that's what makes the song amazing. It's really well done. Excellent. You've always said you better look before you leave. Yeah. And the fact is, I bring this up a lot because this is where I am in life. I've got a daughter, two years old and four years old. It won't be long we'll be having conversations like this. Like, here's this person. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And eventually, just like we all have, like they say, eventually, the youngster has to take that leap. Whew. Yeah. 
Hmm. So good. Well done. That was beautiful. Just beautiful. Boy, that hit me. That hit me good. It's nice to see. You know, 1984, each decade of country is a little different. The 50s is, you know, the old time country, the very twang, the country and western. The 60s is where um, country music really started finding its footing as far as commercially. Uh, the big names started coming out in the 60s. The 70s was a time of upheaval. Everybody, nobody knew what was going on in the war, world, Vietnam War. Um, the, the culture was changing. And by the 80s and 90s, it, things like, it seemed like things had kind of settled down. The 80s and 90s were good times for country. Um, the, the music was good. The people were uh, singing happy songs seem like a, a good time the 80s and 90s were so you get a lot of good country out of the 1980s and 1990s and this is a great example of just good solid country music traditional music which is what the judds had absolutely loved it since you're still here will you like and subscribe that would be awesome and if you'd like to check out patreon there's a link in the video description below you can check that out that would be great as well until next time, y'all, more country music is on its way. Y'all take care.